Hey everybody, I am Ananya Shetty, an image consultant and a coach and welcome to my channel, a place to create the life that you want and to become the best version of yourself. So on that note, today we are going to talk about the myths of image management. People have a lot of misconceptions around it is for me, it is not for me and these are the reasons why it does not fit right for me. So today we are going to shatter all those glasses. So let's go. The most common myth I get to hear all the time is it's a goddamn luxury. Now let's get to the basics of it. What is luxury? Luxury is something that you can live without, you know, it is not going to impact a lot. It's just that it's nice to have for whatever reasons that pleases you, that makes you feel good emotionally, that probably boosts your ego, but you can do without it. So those are luxuries. Now let's talk about the impact an image coaching does to you or the return on investment it gives back to you. Working on your image simply boosts your self-esteem and the confidence. It makes you feel extremely good about yourself. It gives, gives you enormous opportunities in terms of personal, professional, career breakthroughs and even socially it will help you open up in a way that you can't even imagine. The kind of social awkwardness you have had that vanishes instantly. You would be great with creating first impressions. It helps you get what you want because now you have the skills. Now you know exactly how to communicate. It also gives you the power to train people how to treat you and not take you for granted. It always emotionally uplifts you. It makes you feel good about yourself every single day when you wake up. It helps you build a personal style of your own that stands out. A branding that's impossible to ignore. It helps you come across a very powerful, influential or any adjective that you want for. You know, you get to choose what you want to communicate a certain day and you can become that person. That's how powerful working on your image is. Now answer this to me, is this a necessity or a luxury? I understand this sounds like it's too good to be true. But it really happens and it's no rocket science. You know, there are some art and science put together beautifully. And when you take it one after the other, because there's a structure that you need to follow, you get familiarized by the subjects. Then you start implementing it. That becomes a practice and within no time that becomes your personality trait. The next time you hear people say that, you know, image coaching is for celebrities. It's a luxury thing to have. Uh, it's for people up in the career ladder. It's for influential people, people in the fashion business and art and whatnot. Snap at them and say, no, it is for people who deserve to be happy. And it's for you to take a call if you deserve an image coaching for yourself or not. Well, the second myth is image coaching is only for the rich. I have a tiny little question to ask. Is being successful meant for only the rich? There's a reason why I'm asking this. So stay tuned with me. So general perception of being rich is always this. Rich is equal to money. Yeah, that's that's basic. Well, there are two ways people look at it. You take up a job, you, you do something for a living. Whether you like it or not, most probably you do it just because it pays the bill. Irrespective of whether you like it or not, if I keep doing something, money keeps coming. That's how you make money and eventually uh, create wealth for yourself. The second way of doing it, being extremely good at what you are doing. When you master the craft and you know what you're doing and you love what you do, eventually money comes to you. And I personally think that's the best way to make money than running behind money because when you are really good at it and when you're passionate about something and you know the ins and outs of it and it's like water for you, it's impossible to avoid money. It comes to you. And that's exactly what we do inside image coaching. You work on your image, the inner aspect, the external factors, it, so that it enhances the goal. It helps you push your goal a lot more easier, faster, quicker and smoother. Thereby you're able to achieve them. And it's not just professional. We only understand goals professionally or financial. But you know, be it in terms of your health, be it in terms of your social goal, be it a emotional goal be it a spiritual goal we are addressing all of that in image coaching and eventually you become successful because like i said when you're good at what you're doing and you're creating the right image for yourself money has to come to you that's the only law of nature now coming back to the question is being successful meant only for the rich absolutely not which is why we are going to smash this myth right away the most common excuse I get to hear from people is it's a lot of money. Myth number three, it's too much money. So when you purchase a jewelry maybe, 
do you think it's too much money and let me not buy it no because you feel that the price of jewelry is always going upwards it's a good return on investment you can sell it later see let's say you're purchasing a house do you say it's too much money which is why i do not want to invest in a house no you have your emotional reasons you have your financial reasons you have a perspective in terms of investment maybe you have perspective in terms of resale so whenever you're buying something for yourself how do you decide if it's worth that kind of money it's the value of investment it's a return on investment that you're going to get when investing in something like image coaching has the power to change your life for better and not just one area of your life be it in terms of your relationship be it in terms of your finances be it in terms of your emotional well-being be it in terms of self-love be it in terms of how you influence people around you the mental health aspect of it and the personal branding aspect of it and the impact that you create with every person that you touch it's enormous let's say somebody does it with all their heart like i did i can say it proudly that i did it uh, six seven years uh, back i think it really has the power of giving you a rebirth an opportunity to rediscover yourself all over again and tell me something don't you think you deserve this i totally thought i deserve this which is why i'm getting to live the life that i want the choices that i make and i own up to it and thank god for it Honestly from the bottom of my heart I want everybody especially women because I do have a soft corner there I want every woman to experience this and help you blossom in a way that you can only dream of So the next time when there is an objection saying it's too much money it's time to think for yourself are you not worth the money are you not worth the investment Myth number 4 it's a lot of shopping i get this all the time and it's so funny it's so funny because see i cannot talk for everybody but let me talk for myself maybe in terms of your some image coaching academy where i take care of my clients the first and foremost rule that i set is let's say they sign up for a two and a half month program with me i say you are never going to buy a single piece of garment until we finish the entire program unless it's very important and even if it is i'm going to be a part of that shopping because i really want to make sure that what you're buying really works for you and the second important factor here is trust me when i say this you have no idea or you most often than not you underestimate the potential of your own wardrobe you have no idea the kind of possibilities your wardrobe has which is why another rule that i set for my students and client is you are not letting go of your existing wardrobe so it's a myth that people say you know let's say i have onboarded i am hiring an image coach for myself which means i'm letting go of entire wardrobe that i have and starting to working from scratch are you kidding me what are you going to do it's it's a waste of money if you're letting go of all the things so there is a specific program called wardrobe evaluation by where i literally sit with you going through every single garment in your wardrobe finding out what suits best for you what's not working for you and all the things that's not working for you we are not letting them go we are not scrapping them we are finding a way to reuse and repurpose them and when all this is done then i sit down with my clients creating a shopping list for themselves that is going to add value to their existing wardrobe that is going to help them create a cluster wardrobe where they are able to create versatile wardrobe in budget where they are able to mix and match clothes for every damn occasion that you have this is one of the very common feedback that i get from my clients that i thought i had to let go of the entire wardrobe that i had and that's what they're looking for when they sign up with me but the by the end of the program they really realize that's probably 10 or 20% of the wardrobe that they have to really let go most of them stay because we find a way to rework with their existing garment probably not in the original use but we convert the clothes into different uses and we create magic with their own wardrobe myth number 5 i need to lose weight or probably i need to put on some weight then i hire an image coach such thoughts are valid when you are hiring somebody for a specific occasion and that solves a specific problem only let's say the same problem occurs another time probably 6 months one year down the line you will have to hire her or somebody else if your image consultant is fixing a temporary problem i understand and this totally works but that's not how we work inside mirasam inside mirasam image coaching academy i'm going to teach you the tips and the tricks and the tools and the logistics 
as to let's say that tomorrow you want to change your personal style you want to shift your personality traits let's say you put on weight you lose weight you change your roles and goals the change the way you want to feel about yourself i teach you all of it so that you can do it independently on your own and don't have to really hire let alone any other image consultant you will not even need me i make you independent to make the decisions to take a call to change your wardrobe from scratch and you will be able to do it because i really believe in empowering you and not making you dependent of me so that the next time there is a requirement you call me up of course you can call me up at any point of time but i make sure that my clients and students are independent that they can make choice for themselves also there is another aspect for you to look good to look aesthetically presentable you don't really have to wait to put on weight or lose weight in in irrespective of what your body shape is irrespective of what your body proportion is you can look beautiful put together and also feel good in the outfits that you're wearing so why do you want to postpone that kind of happiness that kind of satisfaction your wardrobe can give image coaching is very superficial and external well this aspect you know i also I'm guilty of believing this to be true for the major part which is probably up to my late 20s I always believed you know investing in clothing in garments and you know it's such a waste also coming from a middle class background I was always told you consider anything an investment only when it's jewelry when it's a land when it's education thank god for it at least uh, they considered education and other investment portfolios uh, it's very sad that we never looked at clothing and grooming as investment because what is investment you invest something it gives you a return and we never looked at it from that perspective sadly we have not taught this in school but never bind better late than never coming back to why clothing and grooming is superficial you know it's very external and also what do people really understand when they say you're working on your image it's clothing and grooming and fashion and uh, shopping and wardrobe and makeup and skin care and what not when all this is true we we definitely cover this the bottom line is definitely not this the bottom line is you being extremely confident about who you are becoming as a person are you in the right track trying to understand and reevaluate where you stand right now and how far you need to go and creating strategies and steps so that you can get to your goals a lot more easier and quicker and smoother having a fulfilling life be it socially personally emotionally and spiritually you being very happy with who you are becoming and also being able to impact people and their life being, being able to touch lives of people in ways that you really really dream of and much more now tell me where these very external i don't think so absolutely not it's very internal there's a lot of work which is exactly why when we start working on image coaching i don't straight get into clothing and grooming we work on your inner and body image from the age of 2 to 7 the things that uh, you have carried yourself with whatever your age is right now we are going to evaluate that to see if the conditions that you have built up with all these while are they worthwhile they are they serving you well or do we need to change that so there's a lot of internal work that happens and even through uh, as you work through your clothing and grooming and personal styling there's a lot of internal shift that happens through the process and which is mind blowing because all these happens effortlessly and here's the final myth once you hire an image consultant you have to keep hiring the person like i said i can speak only for myself that's not how i work that's not how i believe it's supposed to be i believe in empowering my students and clients and not making them dependent of me even though that's not a great business model but that's who i am as a person also when i see them shopping independently and doing it all right it makes me feel so proud about the progress that you're making and the person that i eventually becoming i can do anything for that that really gives me the kick that's probably the reason why i'm an image consultant myself because i see people blossom even after 3 4 5 years of their coaching with me they still are evolving and changing and they're doing it all by themselves so in my 4 to 5 years of my career as an image coach these were common myths i get to hear and i just thought the least i can do is address this because i want you to come out of this cloudy thought process which is not serving you at all so if image coaching is in the top of your mind if you feel that that's going to change things for you i do not want you to delay 
because delaying that is delaying success delaying that is delaying happiness and i don't want you to miss out on anything in life because you totally deserve it on that note we are done with the videos looking forward to see you in the next video up until then take care bye